Hello and welcome to our lesson on bearings and scale drawings. So we're going to construct a scale drawing of this diagram where the flag is situated on a bearing of 0 to 5 degrees from A and 3 to 0 degrees from tree B. To begin with we need to choose a suitable scale. So the scale I'm going to choose is 1 centimeter is equal to 50 meters. So the real life is 250 meters, which means our scale has to be 5 times 50 to make 250. So 1 times 5 is going to be 5 centimeters. So the horizontal distance between the two trees will be 5 centimeters in our scale drawing. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line 5 centimeters long. And because I'm working with bearings, I'm going to draw in two north lines, each one from A and one from B. So we have north from A and north from B. This point, this flag is 0 to 5 degrees from north here. So I'm going to draw a straight line, which is 25 degrees clockwise from the north line. And if we look at point B, we have a little sketch here. We have a north line and the angle we want to draw is here. So we need to work out this angle. Well, we know now 320 degrees here and angles about the point add up to 360. So this angle is going to be 360 Take away the 320, this is going to be a 40 degree angle. So I'm drawing a 40 degree angle anti clockwise from a north line, and you can see the two lines will intersect, and this is where our flag will go. So we can show our flag at this point here. Now we can use the scale drawing to find the distance of the flag from A. To do this, we'll use our ruler. And you can see this is 4.3 centimeters on our scale. We know that one centimeter is equal to 50 meters. So 4.3 centimeters, we'll multiply both sides by 4.3 to keep the scale balanced. So the distance in real life will be 50 multiplied by 4.3, which is 215 meters. And the distance of a flag from point B, we can see this is 5.2 centimeters. So again, using our scale of one centimeter is equal to 50 meters. We have 5.2 centimeters. So in real life, it will be 50 multiplied by 5.2. And this is 260 meters. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Bolt Y is 320 meters due east of Bolt X. A lighthouse is situated 280 meters from Bolt X and 160 meters from Bolt Y. Make a scale drawing to measure the bearing of a lighthouse from Bolt X and the bearing of a lighthouse from Bolt Y. A bearing has three key points. We always start from north it goes clockwise and it has three digits. So do you want to try and make this scale drawing and then work out the two bearings by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the scale I'm going to choose is one centimeter represents 40 meters. So to begin with, I'm going to convert 320 meters, which will be 40 times 8 
to make 320 and 1 times 8 so I need an 8 centimeter line and this will be the horizontal distance between x and y so using the ruler I'm going to draw an 8 centimeter line and I will label this line x to y so now I need a 280 meter from x to the lighthouse and 280 on our scale drawing would be 40 times 7 so 1 times 7 this would be 7 centimeters so I will open the radius of the compasses up to 7 centimeters and draw an arc from x and next I need to draw the 160 meters which is the lighthouse from y so using our scale one centimeter equals 40 meters I've got 160 meters so I multiply this by 4 I multiply by 1 by 4 and that will be 4 centimeters so I need to draw a 4 centimeter arc from y And you can see where the two arcs meet is our lighthouse and I'll call this L. So now I'll draw the line from X to L and the line from Y to L. And I'm going to remember to include the north lines from X, from Y and from L. Okay, so now we can work out the bearing of a lighthouse from X. So we'll measure the angle of a north, from a north line going in a clockwise direction. And you can see this is 60 degrees. But it has to be three digits, so zero hundreds, six times, zero units. Zero, six, zero degrees. So question B, the bearing of the lighthouse from the boat Y. So if we look at our diagram, what we can do here, we have three quarters of a turn, which is 270. So we're going to measure this angle here, and we'll add this onto the 270, and that will be our bearing. So we're going to measure this angle here, angle X, Y, L. And you can see this again is 60 degrees so we have our 60 degree plus our 270 which in total is 330 degrees okay thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care